Hi, welcome to my channel and another video on the Arduino Uno microcontroller. This is another experiment you'll find in the official Arduino starter kit. In this video, we're going to control a servo motor using pulse width modulation. Unlike a motor that usually just spins and maybe you can slow it down and speed it up, our servo is designed to move to a specific location and then stay there until you command it to move to another location and usually it has a range of 180 degrees, say 0 to 179. So as you can see I've already wired up the circuit but let's take a look at the schematic put this aside for a second so you can see from the schematic we're going to control or vary the voltage on the analog input A0 using this 10K potentiometer. And if you recall, there's an onboard analog to digital converter that then converts that analog into a digital representation of, any, of, of a value between 0 and 1023. Well, the servo is controlled with, with pulse width modulation. So then we also have to convert that digital form of the analog voltage into something that the servo can recognize. Now we could learn to write the code to accomplish this, but luckily that code already exists. And it's included in a library of programs in a servo library. So we can import this library which gives us access to a whole bunch of functions and programs that have already been written to control a servo motor. So the next two topics are on the program side and we've already touched upon it and that is importing a program library, in this case a servo library, and the next topic is creating an object. So let's start to look at the program. So whenever we talk to this servo we're going to use a variable name but that on its own isn't going to help us much. We're going to create a variable that will have all the functions and capabilities offered through the servo library and we're going to do that by creating an object. So we're going to create a named instance of the servo library in a variable. We're going to call that variable my servo. And is that's an object. And this unique name, this my servo variable name, will have all the functions and capabilities of the servo library. And from that point on in the program, every time you refer to my servo, you'll be talking to the servo object. So it's a pretty short program, and the reason it's able to do so much is that we're using or accessing a servo library. So here we have the include statement, servo.h, and this is importing the servo library. Here's where we create the my servo object. So we have servo, which is referring to the servo library, my servo. So here we're associating my servo with all the resources found in the servo library that we imported. Next we'll create a named constant for the pin that the potentiometer is attached to, in this case A0, and then we're going to create two variables. Uh, one pot valve is going to hold the analog value measured at A0, and then we're going to create the variable, integer variable angle, that will hold the angle value we want the servo to move to. Next we use the void setup function and we're going to tell the Arduino which pin we have the servo attached to with myservo.attach9 
and then we're going to set up serial communication and start displaying information in the serial monitor program. In this loop we use analog read to convert the analog value measured at pot pin to a digital value in the range of 0 to 1023 and store that value in the variable pot val and then again we're going to serial print text pot val and then the contents of the variable pot val in the serial monitor program. This line of code here is where we get a usable number that the servo understands so it knows where to move to in that 0 to 179 degree range and we calculate that number using the map function which we have access to from the servo library. So this function does the scaling for us. It requires five arguments. The first argument is the number to be scaled. The second two numbers are the minimum and maximum numbers of the analog to digital converter. And then the second two numbers are the minimum and maximum numbers for the servo motor. And then it returns a value to the variable angle. Next we're going to serial print, text angle, serial print, new line, the value that's in angle. The next command, myservo.write angle, will send this angle number to pin 9 to control the servo. Now because we're dealing with a mechanical device, we're putting in a delay here of 15 to give the servo time to move to its new position. So let's hook up the Arduino and see if we can control this servo with the potentiometer. So I've already uploaded the sketch. Let's see if this works. Nice. So let's take a look at the information being displayed in the serial monitor program. So here you can see the pot value and the angle, corresponding angle being displayed. The pot value has a range of 0 to 1023 and the angle will have a range of 0 to 179. So let's sl slowly increase the pot value. You can see there the corresponding angle value. Hold it right there and go all the way up to the maximum for both the pot value and the angle value. There you go, 1023 and 179. So in this video we learned how to control the servo with pulse width modulation by varying an analog input voltage and then doing a calculation on that value with the map function which is available because we imported the servo library and we also created an object which is a named instance of the servo library in a variable and then when we use that variable it has access to all the functions and resources of that servo library and in this case we called it my servo and that created the map function created a number that the servo understood and tells it exactly where it needs to position itself so thanks for watching I hope you found this video interesting. Feel free to subscribe and or comment and see you next video.